originally called War and Nino Murders or the LA Serial Locked Room Killings. Today we are discussing the Los Angeles BB murder cases. My most difficult case today. It's not that difficult though. It was difficult to solve. How many murders? Three. Almost four. Ooh, almost four murders. Sounds difficult. I don't know how this takes precedence over the Kira case currently, but okay. Uh, the Kira case isn't difficult, more of annoying, but... Ranging from the dates of July 22nd to August 22nd, 2002, the LA area was plagued by a strange series of killings. The intricacy of the crimes and gruesome treatment of the victim's bodies are the cause of this case's infamy. I still think that the Kira case is more famous. I guess it is more famous. And more difficult. Fame. It's not more difficult. You've definitely it's worked very longer easy. on the Kira case. How long did this case take you? Maybe. Are we a little over a month? All right. Give me your hardest case to date. Ready for the hardest case, Matsuda? Yeah. Let's start with the first victim. Believe Bridesmaid, a 44-year-old freelance writer who lived alone, was found murdered in his bedroom on Hollywood's Incense Street. The autopsy reports he was knocked out with an unknown drug and strangled from behind with either string or rope. There were no signs of struggle. The body was found lying face down on the bed, fully clothed and mutilated in the locked room. Interestingly, the clothes were undamaged from knife wounds on the victim's chest, meaning the killer had stripped the body, cut up the chest, and put the shirt on again. In addition to the body, there were four Warren Hingyo, a Japanese curse doll nailed to each wall of the room. No evidence was found, the entire home had been wiped down, even the light bulbs. This murder is kind of extra, if you ask me. I will be. Yeah, that's why uh, yeah. I said it's the most complicated case. It's not complicated, case. it's extra. It is very extra. He's cleaned the light bulb. Yeah, he's sending a message. What's the message he's sending? Wait, 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 wait. Why You're not gonna police... catch me, I'm the light bulb cleaning man. Why did the police check the light bulbs for being a forensic scientist? They, just, they noticed yeah, it was scientists. like ridiculously wiped down, so they were checking just how extensively. But why did they look at the light bulbs in the first place? Because they're a better detective than you, apparently, Matsuda. The weird thing is that they checked the light bulbs for fingerprints, I'm gonna be honest. Why would you? Thank you, you Light. As Thank I just you. said, they noticed that the house had been thoroughly wiped down, so they were checking to what extent was it wiped down. And that's how detailed it was wiped. Even the pages of the books were wiped down. Each page. How do you wipe down books for fi Okay, I'm not gonna ask. What, are you it's gonna go in there time. with a Clorox wipe and just be like, well, the books, book pages are wet. How are they gonna dry? They're all stuck together. This is not- The guy's dead, he's not gonna read them anymore. <laughs> I guess that doesn't matter. But his books could have gone to a good place! Your relatives could have sold them a little bit of extra pocket change for fuel. Fuel. Four days later, just after 3 p.m., Quarter Queen, a 13-year-old girl whose single mother was out of town, is murdered in her locked downtown studio apartment on 3rd Avenue. She appeared to be drugged beforehand and unconscious at the time of death. The body was found by a neighbor lying face up in the messy apartment. She wore undamaged glasses despite having her head dented in the shape of a pipe-like weapon and both eyes were poked out. This apartment was also wiped down and had three Warren Nino nailed on each wall except the wall with the door. My question is, why is her name Quarter Queen? Did she like quarters? Uh, that's well, why would you name a baby Quarter Queen? I don't know. Wait, wait. That's the, her full name? Yeah, yeah, Quarter Queen. Her last name is Queen. Oh, I thought it was a nickname. No, these no, are their legal, like names. legal name. Poor child. <laughs> it's a I mean, face. she didn't have to grow up with it very long, did she? Just 13 years. Pure torture. Maybe that's why they kill her. <laughs> she actually approached him. And Take was like, mercy hey, on this thirteen-year-old child. <laughs> he was just scrolling through the yellow pages. Thirteen-year-old with unfortunate names. Who was that? What was the other name? I believe bridesmaid. Okay, that's also weird. It's. The Due to the correlating methods of drugging and killing, locked rooms, and the dolls, the cases were treated as serial killings, the media dubbing the case the Wara Nino murders. Nine days later, on the second floor of a West LA townhouse near the Metro Rail Glass Station, about halfway between the first and second victim's backyard bottom slash was discovered murdered in another locked room. Do you think this is funny, Matsuda? <laughs> no, I didn't. Backyard bottom slash. I, all I can think of in my head is uh, the slash slinging slasher. The hash slinging slasher. 
Who? It's like a, from a cartoon. Mr. Bottom Slash is lying here dead <laughs> and you're thinking about a cartoon. It's a funny name. She was a 26 year old bank clerk with good standing and the goriest of the three murders, she was found laying on her back in her own blood, missing her left arm and right leg, which had been cut off at the root. The right leg was found in the bathroom by police still wearing a sock and shoe. The left arm and the watch she normally wore on it was missing. So there's just this leg with a sock and a shoe on it. Yep. No pant leg though? Nope. Yeah, I'm so missing like, watch. And an entire arm to go with it. Watson is really honing in on this missing watch. That, that's good, that's good. Her clothes were also removed before mutilation of the body, then replaced afterwards. Autopsy revealed the cause of death was from blood loss from the severed limbs and that she had also been drugged before death. Her only roommate that lived with her was out of town when the murder took place and the apartment had been wiped down. Additionally, two Wara Nino were found nailed to the walls. What made the third death different was that it appeared the room had been added to. It was ornately decorated and the floor was covered with an odd amount of stuffed animals piled up against the walls. It's an order of two, nine, five, and 12, making 28 total. The police still have no connection between the victims or leads. I'm trying to be a good class member here. I've already figured it out, but trying to hold what off for lots of it. Clearly you're the murderer. I'm not the murderer. You are the murderer. What about this makes you think I murdered you? Because you're also weird. By that logic, Lisa's the murderer. <laughs> no, she's actually and not You're the weird. murderer. I'm not that weird. Everyone here is the murderer. Am I weird, Monson? No, Kira, you're that's pretty, pretty normal. Weird. Thank you. I'm, I'm not Kira. You think I'm Kira. That's pretty weird. I don't think Lida's Kira. We've already kind of gone through all that. And I'm just like sitting We're here and the murder is still right going now, on. Matsuda. I know, but he's such an upstanding guy. Thank you. Before we move on, let's review the similarities between the murders. Curiously, all knobs on the doors were thumb turn style latches. All victims were drugged before their deaths, suggesting a killer that would rather subdue their victims instead of fight them. The number of dolls goes down by each victim, implying only one more murder to occur by the time of the third murder. All of the victims have rather unique initials. Believe Bridesmaid, Quarter Queen, Backyard Bottom Slash, both their first and last names have the same letter. This was discounted as a major connection by the police. Quote, there is only 26 letters in the alphabet, which means by very rough calculation, about one in 26 people has a name like that, end quote. He's barbecue. <sighs> yes, but no. BB-8. Where's the eight from? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a Star Wars clue. Maybe they're get, there's gonna be a person or the next person's going to be called BB and then his name's gonna be Eight. I feel like you were on something there for like two seconds. <laughs> just, <laughs> just went, Whoa. On August 14th, 2002, sometime after 8.15 a.m., Naomi Misura, an FBI agent on a leave of absence, is contacted by L, the world's greatest detective, via a strange email. It read, Naomi Misura-sama, I apologize for contacting you like this. I would like to request your help in solving a certain case. If you are willing to assist me, please access the third block of the third section of the Funny Dish server on August 14th at 9 a.m. The line will be open for exactly five minutes. Please break through the firewall yourself. L. P.S. In order to contact you, I took the liberty of borrowing your friend's address. This was the simplest and safest way to contact you, so please forgive me. Regardless of whether you agree to help me or not, I need you to destroy this computer within 24 hours of reading this message. She destroys the laptop and chooses to work with Elle on the case. But why? You just went about it so creepily. I wouldn't say that's creepy. That's yep. Pretty standard protocol. You made her destroy her laptop. You didn't even contact me via email when you approached me. You just showed up at my school. You couldn't have just showed up at her house. No. Like a normal person. No. Being like, hey, will I you help me show with this my case? Face. You could put a mask on. That's creepy. That is kind of creepier than me. A helmet. That's I also mean, also kind of creepy. And just put a shape of an L on a helmet so it's not yeah, as creepy. Yeah, tell everyone who I am. <laughs> no one's hey, this is L. What's up? Okay, so maybe the email is the right way to do this. Okay. I don't know if I agree with destroying the laptop. He discloses additional information that on July 22nd, 2002, a crossword puzzle was sent to the LAPD from an unknown sender. It was difficult to solve and ruled out as a prank and thrown away. Nine days later, the murders commenced. He makes note that the numbers following a pattern of nine and four are evident. Nine days, the first murder after the LAPD note. Four days passed between the first and second murder. Nine days passed between the second and the third. Considering the pattern, they concluded either the 17th or the 22nd of August would be the day of the final murder. L believes it will be the 22nd due to the patterns and the decreasing of the war on Ningyo. Well, how many days is, is the 17th four days after the third murder? Yes. That makes sense. Yeah, nine, four, nine, four. Yeah, but 
fourth murder, 17th. You'll understand later on why it's not the 17th. Yeah. Do you understand? Just agreeing with him. Um, why, why is it the 22nd, Matsuda? Because numbers. August 15, 2002, Naomi Misura begins her investigation, and the crossword puzzle has been solved by L. It read 221 in Sister Street, Hollywood, California, the address of the first victim. Naomi goes to believe Bridesmaid's home to investigate. There she meets a detective hired by the murdered family's Ru Ryuzaki. It's you! No. So you're a detective on this case? This is the detective whose name I took. To That's happen so odd. Detectives. You murder him? No. He was found crawling out from under the bed of the first murder on claim of investigation. His behavior was odd, being comfortable enough at the crime scene to leave snacks of his own jam jars in the victim's fridge. So he just crawls on all fours. Ah. Like, from under the bed. From cats. Just imagine that also you're investigating a murder crime and you bring your lunch with you. Let me just look at this bloody spot on the carpet while I eat, eat my jam. leftovers. Or just jam. Yeah, he'd eat it with his bare hands and just scoop it out of the drawer. Uh, like Pooh Bear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Naomi once described Ryuzaki to Elle over a phone conversation as creepy and pathetic, and so suspicious that if I weren't on leave, I'd move to arrest him the moment I laid eyes on him. If we divided everyone in the world into those that would be better off dead and those that wouldn't, there's no doubt in my mind that he'd be the former. Such a complete freak, it amazes me. Naomi's just a very harsh woman, huh? She's hardcore. Her nickname in the FBI was Misura Massacre because she was so savage. She threw me down some stairs once. God. Kind of, yeah. She's the one that went missing, right? Yep. Good. You worked with her? I died. Yep, this is the case. Oh, that, that's why we heard about her because you were concerned about her not actually committing suicide. Yeah, it was ruled out as suicide, but okay, yeah. I don't I don't buy that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kira killed her. That's also unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Naomi reluctantly agrees to work with the case with Ryuzaki. They share information. Ryuzaki reveals he has the crossword puzzle discarded by the police. Additionally, they come over the crime scene, decoding a hidden message on the victim via crime scene photos provided by Elle. The slashes on Bridesmaid's chest were Roman numerals 16, 59, 1423, 159, 13, 7, 582, 724, 1001, 40, 51, and 31. Guessing these to be a code, they saw the bookcase in the room as a clue, finding two volumes of the deceased manga Akuzen Chacha collection missing. Conveniently, this was Ryuzaki's favorite manga, confirming the fifth number of pages in the two missing books as 192 and 184 for a total of 376. Ryuzaki's favorite manga? Is this also your favorite manga? No, I don't really like manga. Have you ever read it? I have, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Ryuzaki was a weeb. We both learned Japanese together when we were nine. Who's Ryuzaki? That's not you? Did you just figure out that the Ru Ryuzaki that we're talking about is not this guy right here? This is Ryuzaki. why I think he's the murderer, because he has the same name. But it's and a fake I name said regardless. I took his so. name because I Wait, wait, so I don't know what happened to Ryuzaki in the story. I kind of forgot. I, I He's a detective. He crawled out from under the bed. Oh, I thought we were talking about him. <laughs> I hate that you think I'd crawl up. <laughs> and this is why this, this is the only reason this case is complicated. The only book in the collection with that many pages was a copy of Insufficient Relaxation by Permit Winter. So he was insufficiently relaxed? Just the name of the book. So maybe that's a clue that he was a very stressed or person. Maybe the killer's trying to leave us a message saying that we are insufficiently relaxed. Oh, I like that idea. Yes. You're both idiots. Using the Roman numerals from the wounds, the investigators related them to the page numbers. Together, they uncovered a complex code upon the second try, reading a message of Q-U-A-R-T-E-R-Q-U-E-E-N, the second victim. The killer is leaving clues for the next target. So he, he's predicting the murders for us. He's giving us clues. From but nobody's figuring, this is all, we're all figuring this out after the murders yes. have already been. But in order to prevent the fourth murder, we must look back at the three existing ones. Yeah. What but we've that? already failed three times. It's the and LAPD. Four. You can't put them at too high of a bar. You are correct. August 16th, 2002. Naomi is still suspicious of the second detective. She has Elle confirm that Ryuzaki was in fact hired by the families. Elle encourages Naomi to continue investigating with him. So at the time that they're investigating these, I imagine the bodies are gone? Yes. Oh. Yeah, they were looking at photographs. Oh. Well, I'm glad he's at least not eating the jam in the house with the guy who's been murdered it's still in it, but... <sighs> yeah, still not part of me just, just like that kind of makes more sense, but... 
it's just all yeah, around. it's less weird if the body's it? not there. Okay. On her way to Quarter Queen's apartment, Naomi is attacked by a masked figure while taking a shortcut through a deserted dark alley. When someone tried to hit her from behind with a blackjack, a little bag filled with sand, and a club. She was skilled in corporea, causing the attacker to flee. The description of the man is as follows. He was wearing a mask, and I'm pretty sure my assailant was a man. I could take him in a fight, but not in a foot race. Hold on, that's all she got? Yep. That is the least descriptive attacker description I've ever heard from an FBI agent. How tall was he? We don't know. She didn't, she didn't figure that much out. Guess there's a reason she's suspended from the FBI. Yeah. Naomi Misra arrives at the second crime scene to find Ryuzaki already present. They discover that Queen's body position revealed another pattern. Her body was facing up while the other two victims were down. She was the only minor murdered. Naomi parallels legal adults to uppercase letters and minors to lowercase letters. Applying this logic to the initials right upside down, Queen's name reads as BB instead of QQ. I'm just confused. How do Q's flip to become Okay, so it's a capital Q. So she's a minor. Naomi's reasoning was children are small, lowercase letter. A lowercase Q is... And if you flip that upside down... Like her body is. Okay. No, I understand what you're saying. No, you don't. No, you don't. I understand what you're saying. This is a capital Q. I, I know that. And so it's a lowercase q and it's split, but I'm saying- And this is a lowercase q. That looks like a nine. <laughs> Same thing. Sometimes people write it like this. I, I'm saying. Or like this. Well, regardless, like this. those are all b's upside down. And what does that oh. look like upside down? Not so well, that one looks like a music note. note. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the murderer isn't a b. Maybe it's a clue that he's a musician. No, he is not a musician. Maybe this is his symphony of death. This okay. is your symphony of death. <laughs> Knowing the killer favored nines, fours, bs, and qs, as well as seeing clues for the next murder per crime scene, they opt to close the investigation of Queen in order to progress to the third murder to find clues to stop at the fourth. August 19th, 2002. That morning, Naomi received a call from fellow FBI agent Ray Penber, who she contacted to verify the legitimacy of the hired detective Ru Ryuzaki. He revealed that at the time of investigation, there was no one on any database with that name. Her suspicions rise. He's kind of sus. Who? Ryu Ryuzaki. No, really? The knowing exactly <gasps> the page. Vented. No. I'm sorry, he what? He invented. Vented? Yeah. What do you mean? I've always been playing that game. Mm -hmm. The imposters in space. Investigators calm over the crime scene of the third and final victim, Backyard Bottom Slash. It was noticed prior that the room had stuffed animals lined up on the walls and had the war on Nino. Bottom Slash was lying on her back, missing her left arm and right leg. The crime scene was different. The killer had added to it, but also taken the arm wearing the watch. Naomi believes the culprit is trying to draw attention to the watch, implying a clock to be the hinted code. She looks at the crime scene as such, the room being the clock face and the victim's dismembered body a way to tell time. Assuming the head to be the hour hand and the arm the minute and the leg the second hand, Naomi noticed the number of stuffed animals in the war on Nino on the walls followed the same sequence as a clock. The pattern was 12 stuffed animals, 2 stuffed animals, a war on 5 stuffed animals, a war on and 9 stuffed animals. This had the human murder clock to read the time 6, 15, and 50 seconds, or 061550, the construction approval number for a condominium in Pasadena in the valley. That's just so... Extra. Extra. Annoying. I mean, you could also just maybe not. Just, a, just a, some advice to any future serial killers. Be basic, please. Don't, don't make it so hard on Matsuda <laughs> to figure out this case. In the complex, there were two possible murder victims. Blackberry Brown in condo number 1313 and Blue's Harp Baby Split in apartment 404. Wait, did he say Blue's Harp Blues. Baby Split? It is a death musical. What? <laughs> oh, are you are you back a on harp. the music thing? A harp. This is an important clue for the death symphony of the BB murder case. Blue's harp, so maybe it's blue from Blue's Clues. So whoever wrote the Blue's Clues music is in fact the murderer. No. Continue. On this day, L also discloses the culprit to Naomi, identifying them as B as well as implying a personal connection. So you're just like, yeah, the killer's B, I already know this. Oh, yeah, I Case closed, but regardless, You've been wasting your time and risking your life in order to figure this out. Yes, but well, like how I know you're Kira, I need something other than circumstantial evidence to prove my case. 
It tells her that the murder will likely happen on the 22nd following the B pattern, but also the 17th, the other theorized date, had passed without a fourth murder. Before continuing on, let's evaluate our possible suspects up to this point. Beyond birthday. Other than having initials correlating to the pattern set by the killer, he's known by Ellis a suspicious person, but no known criminal record. Beyond has been missing for a few years. Ru Ryuzaki. He didn't exist according to any known databases and was obviously using an alias. He's displayed overall bizarre behavior, such as hiding under victims' beds, storing jam jars in victims' fridges, and had the missing police crossword. Ryuzaki knew overly precise information and often led Naomi to her own conclusions. According to Naomi, he would often say inappropriate things like, I am a top, an aggressive top. I have never once been submissive. One of the few things I can boast about. I have never even been submissive to a traffic signal. To a traffic signal? He had sex with a traffic no, signal? No! <gasps> he doesn't oh obey God. traffic laws. <laughs> what was going on in your mind just now? What were you thinking about? <laughs> Ryuzaki f***ing a traffic signal. <laughs> well, because you're like, I'm Telling always you, I'm the always top. Talk. I'm never the <laughs> I've never been submissive even to you. <laughs> traffic signal. L. Known as the greatest detective in the world, he keeps his face and identity a secret, adding to the theory that El Ryuzaki and Beyond are the same person. I agree with this. This is the it theory makes that sense. I have. But I mean, like, you never see him in a room together. You're only calling him. him. Mm -hmm. I visit him in prison. I can prove that word. Yeah, but you. I mean, what if you're the guy? He's the one who contacted Naomi on account of her inactivity with the FBI at the time in order to bypass certain protocols. Naomi never talked to Elle on the phone at the same time as speaking with Ryuzaki. Elle was supposedly the only one on the case aware of Naomi's fighting style, Kaporia, outside of her back alley assailant. Oddly enough, Ryuzaki mentioned her Kaporia skills without being prompted by Naomi telling him. Could this be an elaborate ruse or a more complex agenda? This question would be solved on August 22, 2002. Naomi and Ryuzaki split up to await the killer in the two homes of the possible fourth victims. Naomi is in apartment 1313 belonging to Blackberry Brown and Ryuzaki in 401 inhabited by Blue's Heart Baby Split. Both possible victims are put up in hotels at the expense of the investigation. Each investigator plans to stay for a full 24 hours to not miss the killer. So if I were the killer, I would definitely choose room 1313. Yeah, because it looks more like bees. 404 is upside down on these. No one really cares about upside down these, apparently. Also, why would you want to kill somebody named Blue's Heart Baby Split? Which Wait, is, is that the name of a person? Yeah, oh, a I thought it was the name of a room. No. But it's the so. name person who might be murdered is Blue Heart oh, Baby Split. Oh, that makes Split. so much But Ooh. Blue's Clues Man is pretending <laughs> he's gonna die. Blue's Clues Man is the murderer? Yes. Is that, okay, Blue's Clues Man is coming after them. <laughs> They're pretending to be Blue's Heart Baby yes. Split? Yes. That's not a real person? No, it, it is. is a real person. They put the real person in a hotel. They're like, hey, stay at this hotel so I can sit in your apartment okay, okay, that and makes... get murdered so you don't. Sorry, I just, there's so many counters. There's a lot of Blue's Heart, there's a lot of BBs going on right there now. There is a lot of stuff Like, who knows where Benoodle whatever is. Oof, that's very good. So I can't wait to hear what happens. Sitting in room 1313, just past 9 a.m., Naomi realizes the secret to the locked rooms. The war on Ningyo and how they were always nailed on the wall at the height of the doorknob. Each room had one doll nailed opposite the locked door and another on a wall at the same height. This created a mechanism where the killer could run a very long doubled over string that pulls the lock and then slips out without a trace. Additionally, she recounted Ryuzaki knowing the name of her fighting style, Kaporia, a fact disclosed to L, and that could be deduced by her attacker. Or L is the murderer. I keep getting Ryuzaki mixed up with Ryuzaki, so I mean... Ryuzaki's the murderer. I know you're not allowed to, but you can just think of me as L as pertaining to this case. Yeah. To make it less confusing. But outside of this room, you're not allowed to call me that. Okay, L. This evidence, Naomi concludes it is likely that Ryuzaki is the murderer and rushes down to room 404. 404? Error? <laughs> <laughs> There's no firing the health function. Warning. <laughs> Error. <laughs> four, four. Red hot. There she finds him burning alive in a locked room with a doll nailed on the opposite wall of the door. Sprinkler system had been tampered with, preventing the fire to be put out. Misura used a fire extinguisher to douse the flames, leaving a charred yet alive Ryuzaki. I hope they bring him to a hospital. Yeah, she put handcuffs on him after he was very crispy. Tattered. I can tell you now that handcuffs are not comfortable when you're not crispy. Yeah. So they would not be comfortable when you are they crispy. They kind of hurt, I think, if you're already burnt. Yes. 
Well, even if you're not burnt, they chafe. He is arrested immediately and later convicted as beyond birthday for the murders of Believe Bridesmaid, Quarter Queen, and Backyard Bottom Slash. That's his real name. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess he's it, huh? His parents died and he named himself, so. You're not very crispy either, so maybe my theory for you being Yeah, do I look like I've set myself on fire? Oh, no. You could have gotten plastic surgery. That's sounds tedious. Beyond was sentenced to life in prison in the state of California. A few years later, on January 21st, 2004, he dies of a mysterious heart attack, officially concluding the LABB murder cases. Most Kira? Kira, yep. Yeah. Aren't you sure? Wow, Kira start. What year was this? 2004. 2004, January so. 21st. Kira knew about this guy. So he knew yes. about the case. He knew that Beyond Birthday was a criminal. So, that that was his name. Yeah. I never said that the guy who was in prison's name was not Beyond Birthday. Well, I mean, it's a weird name. I'm just saying that maybe you framed him for murder. I didn't frame him for anything. Could've. Could've, should've, would've. Another innocent hand killed by Kira. Blues How old Kira's? is Blue's Clues? Not relevant to Mom, the Mom, so do you know anybody whose name is like B B? Blues. It's clues, but like banana boat. There is a big blue house. There's a lot of bees in there. So one plus. Okay, you know I I, I didn't write this out beforehand. So um, uh, y'all, it's where are you going? To our room. Okay. You keep thinking about that H, Matsuda. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel pretty smart right, right here. If I can get in. Hi. My name's Matsuda. And this is why I am the greatest detective in the world. <gasps> Originally called War War Nino Murders or the LA Serial Locked Room Killing. I 